I would like to make a response to the statements made by Dr. Holmes yesterday at noon. In the first place, as Adrian has already said, President Holmes was entirely too vague for the Black-Brown Coalition to accept his program as it stands. However, I would like to here publicly thank him on behalf of the Coalition for his sympathetic attitude for the cause. But the Coalition would like a definite commitment from the administration. Our program must be initiated to benefit from the money that this campus is going to raise. It would be futile to raise all that money for scholarships, bring 150 blacks and 350 Chicanos to CSC next fall, and then have no program to offer them. Secondly, the coalition would again like to emphasize the fact that we are a coalition, not two distinct groups. If, if the list of, of 27 demands was read and adhered to, we would not have programs segregated into those that will pertain to the black students and those that will pertain to the Chicano students, and then those that pertain to all students. It was stressed, and I thought it was understood, that these 27 demands are required to make CSC an institution that can meet the needs of the general student body. Third, what we would like to state again is that we, what we want is not vague conversation, but concrete action. We want to know when, where, what, who, why, for each of our demands. We are, so therefore, we are forced to reject the proposals because some of the suggestions are not acceptable to the coalition. We didn't, go in, we didn't go into this expecting that only half of our demands would be adequately met. Our main complaint is the time factor. We cannot and we must not procrastinate any longer than fall quarter of 1969. If you honestly accept our demands and desire to meet them, then the coalition feels that there is no need to create 27 separate committees. If you carefully read the list, you would have discovered that, there, that some of them are identical. Right now, I'd just like to pick out a few of the demands and elaborate on them. Like, number one, we demanded a black studies program. Dr. Holmes stated that the courses in this area are to begin in the fall on a permanent basis. If this is done, then we can accept this solution. Two, we demanded the hiring of a black counselor to advise black students. Dr. Holmes stated that he had one in mind. Who is it? You know, and if it is not acceptable, then we want to be in on, on the screening of, say, who the man is going to be. Six, uh, we demanded a halt to discrimination in the, in the renting of off-campus housing. The college is supposed to have a policy on this, but we submit that this policy is ineffective. The names are taken off of a list, but then the next, the next quarter they can be put back on. So therefore, we, we want these names taken off the list permanently. And also, we feel that the college should work in conjunction with the ACLU in prosecuting all householders who discriminate against college students. And then 12, we demanded black professors to teach courses in the area of black studies. CSC has hired a competent white historian. However, I now have a list of qualified black professors, PhDs, who would be willing to come to CSC on an exchange basis to teach in some of the other areas of black studies. 16, we demanded that the ATE program immediately include a uh, program for teaching disadvantaged minority group children as a requirement for graduation. Dr. Holmes said that it would take time to make the class a requirement. However, we feel as long as the class is offered fall quarter, the committees can take the time to make it a requirement. 20. We demanded that the CSC Lab School proportionately represent Weld County, which is 17% Hispanic. Uh, it was stated that this could be looked into, and then also I, I understand that anybody can go to the lab school who enrolls, you know, applies. Well, I didn't know about this, and so I think, we think, the college should publicize this and also attempt to recruit the 17% Hispanos for the labs. This is just an ind indication of some of the suggestions that we will accept and some of them that we won't and why. And if anybody's interested, we have a list of the others that we cannot accept and the reasons for it. I will be happy to discuss it item by item with the administration if we can get a definite positive commitment that our demands will be instituted by fall quarter. Thank you.